Now I know what I'm doing. I've been working on these things for years. See, all you gotta do is push it up a little bit. Uh-oh. So, if you want to take the Network Plus exam, the first thing you need to be aware of is that there's absolutely no prerequisites whatsoever. There's no required training materials. There's absolutely nothing. All you have to do is sign up for the exam, schedule to sit down and take it, and if you pass, congratulations, you're a Network Plus certified technician. However, I wouldn't recommend that. Probably the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the comptia.org website and actually pull up the objectives for the Network Plus exam. By the way, the current Network Plus exam is the N10-005. That's been active since late 2011 and is going to be that way for the next few years. Now, there are five main domains on these objectives, and the test is balanced pretty much evenly among these five objectives. First of all, there's network concepts. Network concepts covers things like topologies and the OSI seven layer model, the, the basic pieces that help us understand conceptually what a network does. Second is network installation and configuration. Here we're talking about the entire concept of installing a network. Everything from pulling cables to setting up servers to setting up routers, it's all in there and you need to know it pretty well. Third is media and topologies. Now, whereas in the concepts of topologies we talk about, you know, what is one topology versus another, in this domain, what we're really doing is talking about, first of all, the media itself. What's the difference between an RJ11 and an RJ45 and an MTRJ? You need to know those. And then actually configuring different types of topologies to get networks up and cooking. Fourth is network management. It's probably one of my more favorite domains. Here we actually get into the day-to-day -day management of keeping a network up and running. Everything from backing up information to configuring users to standard maintenance at every level of the OSI seven layer model cover all of this in a lot of detail. Fifth, and this is probably my least favorite, is network security. It's not that I have a problem with security, it's just that I always think everything has got a security aspect to it. Anyway, with the network security, you're going to be dealing with stuff like, for example, configuring your wireless encryption, uh, IPSEC, different types of dial-up information, all of that's being handled under this big umbrella called network security. This is a lot of information to cover, so where can you go to get all this information? Well, you can always start with these amazing video series, but what I'd also recommend is you include the Mike Myers Network Plus Certification Exam Guide. This is my Managing and Troubleshooting Networks version of that book. This is a great book, I'm very, very proud of it, and then while you're at it, you might want to grab some practice questions too. This is the total tester practice exam series, and it actually works perfectly with this video series to help you pass the Network Plus. So, if you're ready to do this, the answer is simple. Number one, schedule the exam now. You need to give yourself about a two month window between when you schedule the exam, including your studying time, and then when you actually take the exam. Remember, heat and pressure makes diamonds. If you don't schedule that test, you're never gonna take it. Get a book, Watch this video series and get some practice questions and you too will be a Network Plus certified technician.